this week in Brian Nieves, only in America. I love this country. On Wednesday morning, I had an appointment with a modern day patriot so we could talk about the book Leadership and how we might together help implement some of the principles in the book. Why the picture of a gun that would give Nancy Pelosi instant indigestion? This modern day patriot, who will remain nameless, brought me this little gift, but also brought some of his own personal arsenal for me to look at and drool upon. While we were gazing at the varieties of the weapons in his cargo area of his SUV, a police officer pulled up and parked next to us. The officer came over, admired the weaponry, complimented the selection, shook our hands, and went into the sandwich shop. I ask you this, how much longer will that type of scenario be able to play out like it did? How long will America keep such basic freedoms? What will you do to make sure my grandkids will be able to do the same thing in a public parking lot 30 years from now? Here are a few observations I've made about liberals and their media sources. Please add any observations you've made. One, liberals will swallow without even reading in the liberal rag whatever the headline says. In other words, if the Bluffington Post or the River of Front Times said, had a headline that said, Missouri Senator claims pigs can whistle and cows can fly, liberals would just swallow that without even reading the story, much less do any fact checking about the story at all. They are truly modern-day lemmings. Two, liberals are the most foul people on the planet. I promise you would blush if I showed you some of the base and disgusting emails and tweets I get from these people. I served 10 years active duty in the U.S. Navy and never even heard the level of vulgarity, profanity, and utterly disgusting language that spews out of these liberals. Three. Liberals literally accuse others of doing or being exactly what it is that they just did or what they are. This is the number one reason well, I suspect that truly hardcore, almost militant liberals suffer from a mental disorder. This is bizarre and almost scary. They complain and scream about others doing the very thing they just got done doing. It's as if they either don't see it in themselves or they think they are above others, and that makes it okay for them, but not anybody else. Truly weird. Anyway, I could go on and on and on, but won't. What are your thoughts and comments? I really do want to hear what y'all have to say. Are you a liberal? Please feel free to correct me. Are you a conservative? Tell me your thoughts about militant liberals. Let it rip! There are a few things for which you can count on liberals. Here's a short list. Please comment with a few of your favorites that I may have forgotten. One. They will always start the ugliness and name calling, and then if you respond in a way that is even remotely similar, they pretend to have righteous indignation and scold you for doing 10% of what they just got done doing. Like the kindergartner who cried, Mr. Smith, Johnny just hit me in the back, should be their motto. Two, they will always grossly change what a conservative says in an attempt to discredit said conservative. Three, they will always race bait, and you'll see it done in the comments in the post to which I referred. Funny how Jane forgets I am a Latino man. Read her comment and you'll have to laugh at it. Four, they will always try to belittle those who they are debating by implying or straight up saying they are far more educated than you. One of their favorites is to demean you if you accidentally type or text something in social media that has spelling, grammar, or syntax error. I've had tons of libs attack me for such things while making the same type errors in their correction of mine. Hilarious. Five. They will always take offense at being called a liberal. Interestingly, I enjoy being called a conservative. That is just a short list of the first five that popped into my head, but I'm sure I could list thousands. Tell me some I may have forgotten. This week in Brian Nieves,